This time we look at the X bind keys. It's an alternative way to um, do key bindings uh, as opposed to using your desktop environment to do it. Uh, this one is um, kind of like a daemon for it and you can use it on just about any distribution. Uh, you just run it as a daemon and it'll work. Probably not recommend it if you're already using like a toweling Windows Manager because they have their own like configurations uh, and hotkeys. But this one if you're using like uh, any um, you know, traditional one like XFC, GNOME, Mate, Kitty, or whatever it is. Uh, really convenient to have this one. I'll show you that in a minute here. But, um, well, let me show you the uh, configurations here. Right, and here it's just a, a config file. Uh, you just call it uh, in your home folder here, uh, .xbindkeysrc. And in here, all you got to do is uh, give it, you know, the command that you want to run. Uh, and then the hotkeys you want to do. Now this one is a little bit different too because it actually has a uh, mouse button binding also. Um, usually when you use it like XFC or something like that, they only have it for hotkeys, they don't have it for mouse binding. Unfortunately, I don't have any mouse bindings to um, show you, but they do have some examples in here. Where the hell was that? Um, uh, there you go, right here. Like this one right here, you know, if you want to bind it uh, with uh, control mouse button two and you do a release or something like that, and then it'll execute the event or something like that, right? So this one does have like, I guess, more features than uh, your traditional one. But the main reason why I use this one is that um, if you ever use XFC or any like, you know, Mate or GNOME or something like that, they have one of these, um, what was that, this keyboard thing here. And you would actually have to, you know, add it in uh, the command that you want, and then bind it to a uh, a combo or something. And it's so slow to do it this way, where you have to click on the stupid thing every time, click OK, uh, so on and so forth, as opposed to just using, um, you know, a, a text file here, and then you can edit it. Uh, again, I got this idea from uh, using i3. They have like conf a configuration file for their hotkeys and their auto startup. Uh, I talked about the auto startup uh, on another video, but this one's just for hotkeys, right? And you can bind it real easy, just the commands that you wanna use and you know the hotkeys that you wanna use, uh, real easy. So let's say for example, what is this one here? Mod four is my super key, AKA um, your Windows key. So if I press this one, let me see here. Uh, super alt and s okay this one's for searching so this one will open um, ranger and I'll execute that command um, fzf select and let's say if I'm looking for um, my Xbox soft modded stuff look at that it goes to that folder and I can open it or I can quit out of this simple so that's how I would search for stuff if I want to open my home folder with my default uh, GY file manager I can do, uh, what is it here? Uh, super Alt and F. So Super Alt and F. And it opens, you know, that thing. So on and so forth. I mean, what else we have in here? We have uh, HTOP KDE style. So use uh, Control Escape. Here's just some examples. Or you can do like a Windows style Control Alt Delete, right? We'll do that. And it opens uh, HTOP. So whatever way you want. And there's some few other ones I have down here for Windows management and so on and so forth. But uh, the basic thing about this is that um, you know you have it in one file. So even if you like um, in the future maybe you reinstall your distribution or something like that, you don't have to waste time going to um, what the hell was that thing? Going to this thing and adding the fucking thing again. Uh, imagine you have to add like all, all these hotkeys in here again. Look at this thing. Imagine you have to do it in here. It's so fucking slow and you know, just not convenient. But uh, if you have this, um, you know, all you gotta do is just save this file back up somewhere, reload it, and uh, make sure you install the uh, X bind keys. Should be in your repositories. And as far as how you were started, um, you would add, to add that to your auto startup. So I add this one to my auto startup here. So it's just X bind keys. And if you're doing this uh, the way that I show you in the last video, uh, that's all you gotta do. You add this and then you have the and sign to break, um, 
from the terminal or if you're doing like from XFC or you know any traditional GUI uh, you would actually have to open um, what was that one startup and you would actually have to add that in here like uh, what was that X bind keys bind keys with the S and the command is X bind keys and that's all you gotta do to uh, have it auto start up uh, you know when you boot up your computer right if you ever need to um, was that reload it I guess what the hell was that command I don't remember yeah you have to kill it first right we do kill all if you want to reload it kill all existing one and then you can load it up again using this command pretty much that's it and that's how you reload uh, X bind keys if you ever need to do that um, so I've been using this and it's really convenient and you can use it on you know any other uh, distribution desktop environments uh, mainly for like XFC, KDE, GNOME, uh, LXD, so on and so forth because um, it's convenient and you know if you're using like the GUI there's really no way to back it up but with this way you just have one file and uh, you're good to go if you ever need to like reload your distribution and plus if you're doing this with like uh, your favorite text editor it's much quicker than clicking you know okay bind a fucking hotkey and imagine you had to like uh, edit it, uh, each and every one of them again it's so slow right anyways that's what I've been using it's just called X bind keys should be in your repositories just make sure you add it to your auto startup um, you know if you wanted to uh, load it every time that'd be for this one